Hey everybody, welcome back to my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a really fun one. We're making pastry cream. Pastry cream is also known as custard and it's basically the same thing and you can use it in all kinds of delicious pastries. You can put it in little fruit tarts, large fruit tarts, you can put it in cream puffs and also milfays. Yum! And how about chocolate eclairs? Oh yeah, very good too. So let's get on with the recipe. A half a cup of granulated white sugar, 100 grams, four egg yolks, and I always use large eggs in all of my recipes, one and a half cups of milk, or 375 grams. And in my recipe today, I am using 2%. You can use whole milk if you wish. A quarter cup of cornstarch, this is 40 grams. Two tablespoons or 30 grams of salted butter. And our last ingredient, two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract, and that is 10 grams. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. So I have a large bowl here. I'm going to take all of the egg yolks and get those right in. To that, we'll get in our cornstarch. Make sure you get it all out. go just push it through perfect our granulated sugar and then to make this mixture easier to stir I'm gonna add a little bit of our milk and you don't have to be accurate you can add whatever you want I think that's good this is just gonna help me get all of this incorporated and then just start mixing. Once it looks good, on to our next step. I'm just going to move this out of the way, bring my saucepan in. And now I'm going to take all of this milk, the remainder of the milk, get it into our little pot here. And now you're going to heat that on your stove until it boils. As soon as it boils, you're going to remove it from the stove. I have a portable stove here. I'm going to get that on there and I'm going to bring that up to a boil. Okay, we're back again and I'm just going to show you before I take it off very quickly you can see bubbles now are starting to form and that's what we want I'm going to remove it from the heat just going to turn this off for a second this happens very fast I'm going to bring this in nice and slowly there we go and then what you want to do is get this mixture mixed up again before we start adding the milk and you want to go very, very easy on the milk, a slow pour. What we're doing here is we're tempering the eggs. We don't want to shock them. If I poured all of this in at one time, we would get scrambled eggs and we don't want that. So just get all of this going. And as soon as we start pouring the, the milk, you want to keep whisking like this. Do not stop. So that's nicely moved like that now. And now I'm going to start just adding, just going to go. So a little bit and just start pouring it in and stir. Just like that. Just take your time. Do not rush. I'm going to turn it here so you can see. And you can see, there we go, and now we're empty. We're empty here. So I'm just going to keep stirring this. Now we're going to get it back into our pot, just like that. Okay, and then back onto our heat. So I've just turned that on. Get it on there. And now get your whisk and get ready. I'm going to turn that down to about two, and at this point, start whisking, and do not stop. <laughs> do not stop whisking. 
because you will burn the bottom. And what's going to happen here is once this starts getting hot enough, all of a sudden it's going to thicken up. It's like magic. And at the end, when this is almost finished, we're going to add in our butter and then the vanilla. And you always want to add the vanilla at the end because it just keeps the vanilla that much more fresh in the, you know, the, the pastry cream at the end. If you pour the vanilla in at the beginning, it kind of loses a little bit of its aroma. So I'm just going to keep turning. You want about a medium heat. Do not put it on high. And we'll just keep stirring. One thing I want to mention is a thicker bottom pot is a nice way to go. All of a sudden now I can feel it starting to tighten up. You can actually, maybe the camera's picking that up and now I'm going to turn this right down. I'm going to put it down to two, like all of a sudden. Look at this. Can you see this? It is really getting nice and I'm going to turn that right off now. And then I'm going to get in here, give it a little bit of a stir. And right there, that is done. I'm taking that right off and pull that off. And now, give it a nice stir. And I can see I did a good job. I can already tell that nothing on the bottom is burnt. So that's really good. And now you just want to get in there and just whip it. Look at that. Look at how nice that is now. Amazing. And then we will get in our butter. So let's get all of that butter in. Get that in, just slowly at first. Nice and easy. Oh. One taste of this, you will want to make this over and over again. There we go, look at that, how silky that is. Amazing. And then the pure vanilla extract. All of that in there. And slowly just get that in. You don't want that splashing up on you, so slowly at first. Oh, the aroma, amazing. You can see that it slightly changes the color of the pastry cream. Look at that. Wow. And now we're just going to get this into a new clean bowl. So I'll be back. And then get yourself a new bowl. Just going to give this another little bit of a stir. Now if you think you have lumps, you can grab a little strainer and you can strain it out, but I'm not even going to do that because this just looks really good. I don't see any lumps at all, so I'm just going to go like that. And I did a good job. There's no burning on the bottom. And that's because I was doing all of that stirring. Just get all of that goodness out into your bowl. There we go. I'll just show you the bottom here, just to show you that I did not burn it. Look at this, it's perfect. So I did a really good job. And you can do the same thing, just make sure that you're constantly turning that mixture with your whisk and you'll have success as well. Just gonna get some plastic wrap. And here's a little tip. 
don't just put the plastic wrap over the bowl because there's air in the bowl and what will happen is it will form a skin on your pastry cream. So you want to get that plastic down just like that. Just push it on there and that is it. There we go. And then I'll just add a little bit more on the top. You don't have to, but I'm going to let it cool down a little bit on your counter and then right into the fridge and let that sit there in your fridge until it's cold. And then you're going to take your spoon, you're going to put it in there, you're going to take one bite and you're going to say, wow, I need to make this recipe again and again. To have success, make sure you measure all of your ingredients out at first, double check to make sure that you have everything ready, and then start the recipe. So once this is cold, you could eat it just like this, you could serve it up in little bowls, you're going to be amazed just eating it like that, or you can put it into uh, chocolate eclairs or any, any kind of pastry that you like. It is amazing. If you buy the little fruit tart cups you can that are pre-made, you can pipe some of that in and then put some of your fruit on there, serve it like that. Amazing too. Anyway, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you wish. And if you're on Facebook, you can also check me there at facebook.com slash bake like a pro. Thanks very much for watching. I appreciate every single person who watches my videos. Thank you, and I'll catch you on the next one. And please subscribe to my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel, and also click that notification bell to be alerted every time I upload a brand new video. If you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. On the screen now, you can choose a video to watch, or you can also click and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you once again for taking time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it.